Okay. Oh, okay. I like what's in your bag. Thanks. We better start this podcast start this so podcast. that I can see what Leslie has in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. We're the Naughty Nitwits yeah. and Oso. <laughs> Which Oso's not been naughty this week. Oso's no. been well behaved this week. Although Michael thinks he pooped in our room. Oh. Lovely. But I don't think he did. I think one of the other dogs did it to try to get him in trouble. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they're so jealous. Yes. And I had taken him out twice and he'd gone potty both Is times. Is he doing better now going on his own without a leash? Oh, no. Still oh, has still to, has to have a leash. Still okay. have to go out on a leash. He okay. finds the perfect leaf. Okay. Somewhere to or poop bush. on. Yeah, he's he's funny. <laughs> he's getting all the plants ready for spring. Oh my gosh! He's yeah, fertilizing all of them. So Cute. well, okay. Let's just jump all in. Right, I want to we'll see. Jump in. All right, because you have well, the cutest bag. I have bag. to say, okay, I have to talk about this bag first because it's the most beautiful bag ever. Uh, so N- Nanette from Nanette Wake Studios. I've talked about her bags before, and just she's a sweetheart. And um, after our last podcast, I went home and told my husband, I was like. Oh, I just love Nanette and I Sorry. love her bags and they're hand woven and she she actually dyed the yarn for this, wow. which makes it even more special because she actually hand dyed the yarn. But I was like, I just love her bags and I said I told my husband there's one in particular <laughs> that I really like. It's pinks and so he was like, Well just just go just and order it. it. So you anyway, know, it's funny when so when Leslie showed me the shop online. I mean, mm-hmm. I thought it was cute, mm-hmm. and I saw the value and mm-hmm. and ooh, the work that goes into it. I was, yeah. but seeing it in person, I'm I like, I do not so need another pretty. bag. It's <laughs> but so I really pretty. do think it's gorgeous. So she has an Etsy shop, um, Nanette Wakes, Nanette Wake Studio. So we'll probably put that in our show notes. We absolutely yes, will. We will. So the inside is these beautiful floral prints and i love drawstring so i just think it's i mean i like zippered too but, I but like you know this seems like a nice drawstring yeah because it doesn't like you know sometimes drawstrings just kind of slump down mm-hmm. in their pain. that's like a nice, nice structure yeah it is very structured and it's deep i mean i have a whole project a shawl project in here and I have three skeins of yarn in here, plus the pattern, plus all my other stuff I need. So I feel like and a capsule a, that goes yeah. up into a tent, just that, like yeah, yeah, exactly. Survival food, yes. you know, all <laughs> kinds of stuff in here. So, but it just cinches, and it's just I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's beautiful, and it came super fast because she's just up in Washington. So. Oh, you are. Mm-hmm. So it was super nice, super fast service. Splendid. So you guys have to check out her shop because her stuff is just gorgeous. I mean, anybody who makes bags, I appreciate. But when it's hand woven like that, it's really I'm nice. I've like, never seen a hand woven yeah, bag like that. Yeah, it's they're beautiful, and she has all different colors. And um, so anyway, Nanette was so sweet that she also she knew I loved mohair, and so she made this beautiful scarf for me also and sent it to me. So this is beautiful. No, you know, not only does it have mohair, but it's sparkly. Uh, it's sparkly. Yeah, two of the best things in the yes. world. So I wore it the other day around it's the beautiful. house. Beautiful. It was gorgeous. So thank you, Nanette. That was super duper 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 sweet. And I love it. And yeah, it's very so nice. nice. She's very talented. I mean, that's amazing. I really want to go look at the bags again. I know. <laughs> and she also makes uh, camera straps for your camera. Oh. She weaves those as well. She also hand dyes yarn. So she has yarn in her shop too. So yeah, all kinds of, she's very talented. Extremely talented. So As so many of you are. <laughs> yes, I know. I mean, we... we <laughs> Well, I guess I was going to say we don't set the bar high because we don't do that stuff. But the bar is set very high because we don't do that stuff. So we appreciate it even more when people do it because we don't have that talent. We don't. You know, and so. I don't feel you're looking at me like you might be hurting my feelings. No, it's no, okay. no, I'm not. I'm no, not you're just, not telling me anything I, know, I don't know. I didn't know if I was saying it right. Like we have no talent. No, you go away. You guys have all the talent. Go away. Go so lay down. when we see your talent, it just means so much more to us because Absolutely. we don't have that talent. So you guys are amazing. So amazing crafters. <laughs> But yeah, I love this bag. It's now my favorite. So, it's so okay. soft. Okay, so you've adequately, so yes. now let's see what's I've in it. I've adequately petted it. <laughs> okay, so. I was, I'm liking is, the colors that you used. Yes, A Girl's Best Friend by Isabel Kramer, the shawl that I said I was going to cast on. So I cast it on, and it's so funny how certain projects are. I don't even know how to describe this one. And I, I know I'm not going to say, like, it's like, those colors, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. I love Gorgeous them. Gorgeous colors. I will show you what oh. I have so far. So the colors I am using are this oh, is... I love this stitch. Yes, it is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm using Eva Little Goats, her Let's Play 2. Oh. That's the brown and the... That's what this brown is from? Because I the love this is. color. Yes, it is gorgeous. So It's job, Dion. It's, this color is the... 
Oh, the little the, the little line. Yes, and then so these two played <gasps> together. Oh my gosh! And I love it because it's like there's more than just brown in there. Like that, it's that just, is a an amazing gorgeous. color. I love it. So these two are evil little goats. I love that stitch. And then the pink is from Knitting in France. That one. She sent us yes. a skein, non superwash merino, nice. back to basics, and it is the stitch definition of this yarn is phenomenal. Yeah, because I can see it without my glasses on. <sighs> yeah, like. I was trying to think how I was going to describe this shawl. I just keep stopping and looking at it because the stitch definition like is it. so pretty. And then the stitches that you use are just gorgeous. So, so I wasn't going to knit any more shawls this year because, but I really like yeah, this. No, I love it. It's, I like anything with a different kind of stitch, yeah. you know, just something that's like different. Fun. Yes, it is fun. It is fun. And I just, uh, yeah, I told myself at the beginning of this year, which was what, two weeks ago, right. ago that, you know, I wasn't going to just knit a shawl to knit a shawl. Like it yes. really has to like speak to me or something. Cause I have so many shawls mm -hmm. in my drawers that I have loved knitting, but mm -hmm. that I never wear. Right. And so I really wanted to focus on shawls that either really stood out to me like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Or yeah. that has amazing stitches or something. Yeah, that's so when I saw this one, this was one of them that was on my short list because I just thought it's beautiful. It's very nice. Beautiful. So I've had so much fun and I only started it like three days ago. I like it. Like it's literally addicting and the way the needles just glide through the yarn. Like, I don't know. It's, it's just. And those colors together colors. are fabulous. Yeah. Sorry, gorgeous. Honey. I know. I thought of you, Michelle, when I started knitting it because I was oh. like. These are like Michelle colors. They but are. I love pink too. Mm -hmm. Pink and brown. I really wanted to do the exact color color scheme that the pattern called for which was more that. like an orange um and gray and pink but the gray i had um i didn't love with that pink i don't know why it just to me did not look go. well and look good together yeah so when i saw dion's let's play two uh t those two together i just thought man those two are perfect blending and then that pink just brought it all together yeah brought it all together so it's been a very very fun knit so nice yeah what are you working on my dear. Petting a baby on my lap. Petting a baby, yeah. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's so terrible because... Oh, okay, so terrible. we've bonded well, me and Oso, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the point where when he's on my lap, if anyone comes near me, he growls at him. Ooh, wow. <laughs> and it really hurts her not his feelings <laughs> when she comes to pick her dog oh, up and he growls at her. Oh. And you know, you hate seeing your child hurt. Totally. And so it oh, truly so makes... Oh, so are Renata. <laughs> Both of them are upset about this. <laughs> oh, right. well, so cute. So, yeah, I'm using, still using one of my all time favorite bags. Mm -hmm. um, Kate Rowe Design, mm -hmm. just over across the pond. Yes. I've always just loved this bag. Mm -hmm. It's so perfect. It's mm -hmm. so cute. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to go on about it, I'm going to go on about it. Go on. <laughs> yes. Please do. Please do. We but, love our uh, bags. We do. We're. We like house our treasures so of course so i did cast on and i have the pattern just so i can remember who it's by mm -hmm. uh nitty melissa the um oh god diagon diagon, diagon alley, alley cal okay yes. Yes. yes and so i cast it on using mm -hmm. these gorgeous Beautiful. yeah these are two colors that Diane from Knitting Bunting, oh, Elm Tree Knits. Okay. On It's Elm Tree Knits. No, her shop is Elm Tree Knits. Her mm -hmm. Instagram name is Knitting Bunting. Okay. okay. A little confusing, but I'm with you. Yeah. I'm there. <laughs> Once you know, you know. Once you know, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So she, had, she sent me this sparkly toasted marshmallow. Beautiful. Beautiful. With this pink which is her rose lemonade. Beautiful. And I mean, they really did, like this mm -hmm. would have really popped in here. Yeah, yeah. This here is also hers, okay. rose lemonade, just an older one. Oh, interesting. And I just felt like it went yeah, better for, for what I wanted. So yeah. I, ha I still have this pretty pink one mm -hmm. to use with something else. Yes. But anyway, this is a very simple, it's a very easy to memorize brioche mm -hmm. pattern. You're doing, you know, two decreases and two increases mm -hmm. every four rows. Mm, nice. And um, nice. so it just kind of gives it that. Yep. But it was all going fine. And then yesterday, it's just been beautiful here in the Pacific Northwest. 60 degrees yesterday. Sunny. Sunny. So I... 
<laughs> I'll just tell you guys about the elliptigo that we got. Mm -hmm. um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the box. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I'd been out riding that thing mm -hmm. in like the four blocks there and four blocks back that I could do. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a butt yeah, kicker. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> but anyway, so and so I was sitting outside. I thought, I'm going to sit outside and knit. Mm -hmm. You know, because we, we live in such a nice place. Yeah. But I'm always inside. Yeah. And I thought... And this is what it gets. I mean, mm -hmm. I just, it should just tell me not to do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm outside, I'm, I'm working on this. No warning whatsoever. Nina just jumps up on me oh. because she's so jealous now yes. of this dog. She has to get your attention yeah, if she can. Totally. She's like so possessed. She's well, desperate. Desperate is exactly <laughs> the word. <laughs> Old hag. Uh, so she jumps up and lands right mm -hmm. on the project in oh, my hands. Yeah. And so what does that do? It takes a bunch of stitches of off course. the needle. Mm. And so last night I un I'm almost done re-knitting everything that I unknit. I had to unknit for hours. But it was kind of like it was it was about the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. I could have just ripped it out and yeah. started over. Mm -hmm. It kind of almost wasn't worth it to un do all the unknitting, mm -hmm. but you know how your yarn, especially when you're doing two, it gets all yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want weird because I or love this yarn. I didn't and, want yeah. knots. Uh, yeah. This, I absolutely love these colors together, Beautiful. especially, and I think this cowl is going to take like half of each of them. Oh, nice. So I wanted, I didn't want to ruin because yeah. I, I could do a pair of socks or mm -hmm. I could do another one of these. Mm -hmm. You know, totally. I, mean, I don't know why I would, but. Um, because it's fun. Because it is fun. Yeah, I love it. So that's the Diagon Alley Cal. Mm -hmm. Very fun to knit. And cool. it makes me want to do brioche everything. I know. I know. I need to get a brioche something on the needles. Well, cause... I have something to tell you about that you're going to okay. love. Right. I've been excited okay. to tell you this. Okay. But I didn't. You've been holding off? I've been holding off because wow. I wanted to tell you Live. with all the pressure <laughs> that we could muster. Yeah. So am I going to have to be really like. Well, you know excited. how I wasn't all Betty excited? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want some Betty excitement. Okay. Out of this. All right. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, can't guarantee. But I I'll know. Try. Well, you know what? And it's it's somewhere in this pile. Okay. And I'm okay. So I found a pattern. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I hate it when people cough and stuff. No, I hate it when I cough because I know it's annoying. I know. It never bothers me when other people do it. Does it bother you on other podcasts? It depends. Like, okay. if it's some gross phlegm sounding cough. Yeah, where they're coughing up something. That's but I can't true. say I've ever seen that happen. I haven't either. So, if we're watching the wrong videos. I yeah, don't I don't. Know. Or we're watching the right ones if that's not <laughs> that's happening. True. That's so, true. no, I don't. I, I just feel self conscious when I hack. Oh, okay. You know? All right. Well, you're not coughing up stuff, so you're okay. It doesn't sound gross. So if I cover my and then I and I do that. Well, that you're supposed to you know do it into your elbow. Oh, that is know? the new way. Yes. So that way your hands are clean. right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was searching on Ravelry for fingering weight brioche patterns mm -hmm. because that's what I wanted. It yep. got lots of fingering weight yarn. I just wanted it brioche. Mm -hmm. A brioche memories blanket came up. Mm -hmm. So with no ends to weave in. Because it shows you how to hide a minute. Oh. So you weren't you the one that was saying you don't like so much how it looks on the back side? Or was that Lori? No, I love both. Oh. At Lori, least, at least on what? the crochet blanket. <laughs> okay. Because the crochet blanket looks the same. True. It looks great. On both okay. Sides. But it's the it's the yeah, it's the one with the mitered squares that does not look good on both sides. Right. And That's so this one. is a mitered square okay. brioche blanket. Wow. The pattern writer's name is Valerie. NG. Okay. I don't know how you say that. Huh. But she's over across the pond. Mm -hmm. And I, okay, so, uh, and it's already linked. I've already started show notes, so it'll be different. Okay. Sorry, he's falling off. Uh, -oh. uh, when I first brought it up, your setup wrote, you you do an I cord cast on, mm -hmm. and then you, um, like as you're picking up stitches, you're also doing your first setup oh, round okay. or row yeah. for your brioche. So it's a little confusing. Interesting. Like I had to do it a couple times. The first time I was trying dark yarn. Oh. Okay. What am I thinking? Yeah. But then when I did it again, I did it with a light color and it worked. Okay. I was like, okay, so I just need to chill. Mm -hmm. She had a couple videos oh, nice. in her Ravelry group. Okay. Like she has some videos linked in the pattern, but then she also has a little Ravelry group for people that need help with it. Nice. Anyway, I sent her a couple messages and she was so quick to respond mm. and so helpful sending me like you know when people send us messages i'm like five words yeah and, I, and it's not because i don't love everyone it's right. just 
time and yeah there's that thing called time yeah, yeah. and i don't know i always, i feel like i'm already on the computer too much yeah. so, you know yeah. so it's not that the interest in doing it's not there this gal took the time to write out like wow. really nice instructions and add wow. pictures and or maybe um, you just came across as totally lost pathetic and, and needed just drastic very needy help. yes <laughs> so she thought, who oh, knows man. what might happen with this american <laughs> hold this girl's it, hand <laughs> exactly <laughs> The pattern's really well written. It's like 20 pages. Wow. That's why I didn't print the whole thing right now because okay. it goes through each square of how to pick. I'm a little intimidated, okay. to be honest, because yeah. you're, you know, like even with the mitered one, yeah. picking up and doing all the stuff, it yeah. was just kind of like you had yeah. to know what you were doing. Yeah. Or to at least be able to visualize it or kind of. And I'm not good at that. Yeah. So I've realized, especially in this, that written instructions, eh. Mm-hmm. Um, Photos, little, Neat. yeah, still confusing. Videos. I need videos. Yes. <laughs> YouTube videos, it's please. To the point that I work. Everything I need to know, I just need to be able mm -hmm. to watch a tutorial. It's true. I'm that way too. So I am that way too. Speaking of blankets, which that's a good segue because I've had. Wait, people... did you think I was done? No, go ahead. <laughs> please, please continue. <laughs> no, I just I purposely brought my crochet hooks because people were asking oh, yeah. what size crochet hooks and how hooks. many they want to know how many yes. you cast on. Have no idea. That's what I figured because I know they say it has to be a multiple of however many plus whatever. I didn't. I just chained on a ton and just fiddled with it at the end and made it work. So. It looks great. I mean, I don't look at my ends and go, oh, I didn't do it right. This, it, crochet is so forgiving. So I don't know how many I chained on. I literally took the new one that I just finished and measured it against my daughter's that I had finished back in June. And that's the width I wanted it. And I knew it'd be a little bit wider than that once I did a border. So it depends on what size you want. If you want a queen size, go measure it against your quilt or comfort. your In other words, bed. figure it out yourself. Yeah. I mean, just <laughs> chain on until you chain feel like on. it's long enough. The thing is, I chained on with a, this is what I use, 3.25 to actually crochet the blanket, but I chained on at the first row with a bigger needle, bigger than this one. <clears throat> um, I'm, I can't remember what size I used. I think I just fiddled with it. So, like, I chained on, and if it didn't look loose enough to me, I ripped it out and rechained on, you know, with a bigger crochet hook. So, you kind of have to play around with your gauge. It depends on how loose you do it. Because that first row is what oh, you, you need. Oh, you have to do it really loose. You need it loose to be yes. able to get in and get all those um, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not a crocheter. I literally just crochet a blanket and that's it. Um, so 3.25 is what I actually did the project in, but I, I chained on with a larger size needle. And then I did my border in 3.5. So, <laughs> so I did my border in this because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. And I wanted it also, I didn't want the corner to, corners to curve in or anything, you know, pucker or whatever. So I wanted to go up a little bit for that. Um, also, people have asked what video I watched or how I learned how to do it. I literally did Bella Coco. She's on uh, YouTube. <laughs> She has like 222 videos all about crochet. So she's to me like the crochet she's, goddess. She is. So I simply did. She's her the queen hooker. She is the queen hooker. So I did her crochet granny stripe tutorial. And it's a picture of a purple. It's a purple blanket. So that's how I always find it on YouTube. I look for the purple blanket. And it's just her granny stripe tutorial by by Bella Coco. You know, if you like it, then you can just go find it in your life. Yes. Videos. I think I actually might have done that. I don't remember if I did. Um, cause now I don't have to watch it anymore, but I think on my old phone, I might have <laughs> I liked bet you it. Have it. <laughs> I don't remember. But, um, so anyway, I just wanted to answer that on here because I had several people ask and I thought that way it just covers it. You guys can know, but, um, it took me several times the very first blanket I did to kind of get it and figure it out and stuff. And like I said, on the ends, if I didn't chain the right amount, I just kind of tweaked it, tweaked it yeah. myself. So you'll figure it out as you get there. Oh, okay. That looks good. Not you so know. much tweaking in a brioche blanket. No, not as forgiving. But back to sure. me and my yes, blanket. Back to you. Yes, please. <laughs> Go back to your blanket. <laughs> Go back to your brioche Blanky. blankie. Uh, <laughs> no, you guys, I was so excited mm -hmm. when I found this because... I have so many mini skeins. Yeah, true. And how many mini skeins does it take for one of her squares then? Does it take less than one mini skein? Like, do you know how many grams? Or I was just curious, like, if it's. I don't know. I bet it says. And I don't know what page it. Here's where it talks about how to hide the ends. It'd probably been a different page. It was probably just, a different page. Yeah. It might be on here. But like I said, I didn't print it all because. That's okay. That's all right. um, uh, well, brioche is going to take a little bit more it because it's a one color brioche and then you okay. can make it two colored. Yeah. I'm not going to 
do that just yet with okay. this blanket because I need to figure out how to even do more than one square. No, it doesn't say. But yeah. so we'll get back to on that. But okay. obviously you could even just magic knot and continue with another mini if you wanted to. In yeah, one but I think one mini it would get you. Yeah. 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 Because it's not like, I mean, they're just like normal size. Little squares. Yeah. Okay. And anyway, I was so excited because the first one that I started, I had to rip it out because I, I did the decreases wrong. Okay. I, mentally reverted back to my cowl pattern and oh. I did a double decrease okay. and like any mitered thing you're supposed to do one before and one after right and right it wasn't worth trying to fix yeah you know yeah. so I was like especially a little square yeah <laughs> well sometimes it's just good to practice to really beat it into your head before you start the well, real deal especially you know? this cast on or the cast on's easy because it's the i-cord mm -hmm. but the you know the picking up stitches and setting up for brioche all in one step yeah definitely took some practice I mean yeah. I'm I did it successfully once. Yeah. So I'm that hoping. was like me when I did the Oracle, the humongous Oracle. Yeah. The, the cast on for that was so fiddly. It took me, no joke, probably like 20 times. I oh, almost wow. gave up. Oh. But I finally one night was like, I'm going to go out to the dining room table, have nobody bother me. Yep. And I'm just going to sit here with my little toothpick of needles because you had to, you only yes. had like two stitches on. You that had, really I mean, hard. it was just like, but once you got it going, you were fine. But it was just that initial yes, getting it. That's how my star one was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those pin whatever yes. cast ons or whatever. So it was just, yeah. Some of those projects you really just have to, if you love it enough and you want it bad enough, you have to like put the time in and effort to just sit. Well, and that's and what it becomes. It becomes a thing of, I'm not going to not do this just because yes, I can't figure it I'm out. I'm going to conquer this thing. This is yarn. Yeah, exactly. I should be able to manipulate it. knitting. Yes. I can figure it out. Yeah. And yeah. like you just said, when I'm doing something new like that, that's exactly what I do. I usually mm -hmm. sit at the dining room table with my laptop. Yeah. And it's when nobody's home. Mm -hmm. And I just accept that I'm probably not going to make any progress. Yep. But I'm going to learn how to do something. Exactly. Conquer it. Yes. And yeah. that's, I mean, that's really where I'm going to be back at with starting this blanket is I'm yeah. going to have to think about it. Yeah. And every square that I do, probably for the first half of the blanket, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to pay attention yeah. and think about. But to me, it's like the most perfect solution. To, mm -hmm. I've wanted to do a blanket. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've got like yes. four of them started. Totally. And this, brioche would this be so be squishy and it nice. It would. And they have baby so blankets fun. for brioche too. Oh, okay. So I remember looking that up one time because I was like, I just want a blanket with yeah. brioche, you know? And it was, I think it was like a baby, which obviously yeah. you can make it bigger. Yeah. But um, I remember thinking that would be like the perfect blanket. It is because it's so squishy. Oh, yeah. And I just think brioche knitting is so fun. It is. And I don't know if it's because half the time you're just slipping stitches and I yeah. think that's cool. Totally. It's addicting because <laughs> it's... it's it's cool because it's thick and squishy. Yeah. But also you get to see the yarns play together. Yes, the it's colors. It's so awesome. And then both sides look different. Yeah. So that's fun. It is really fun. And you do. You kind of feel like you're working some kind of magic or something. It I is magic. There's something magical about Very it. Very magical. That is cool. Very cool. So wow. I also wow. knit Betty's oh, bunny God. hat for her PJs. I Cute. I have the pattern, you know, to do all of it. I didn't just get a discount on just the, just the head. <laughs> just want the hat. But really, what more do you need? I know. I mean, <laughs> you've got the ears, which right. are kind of floppy. I yeah. probably should have done something a little better. You could better. put wire in it or I something, could. maybe. I could. But she got it. Cute. You know, it's I mean, cute. she's set now. Yeah, she's set. She's I didn't want to be the last one to knit Betty something. I, has Lori knit something? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's funny because I saw yes. Carrie yes. on her last podcast. She had knitted Betty something. Yeah. Pants? She Well, she Sweater. knit like, she's got the whole outfit. She's got the whole now. outfit now. Yeah. Okay. So, so very uh, Lori will probably beat me on covering her entire body. Yeah, she might. She might have hat mittens. But I got you got the something hats, done. <laughs> bunny hats. That's awesome. Very cool. Yes. Very fun. Well, one of the other things I'm working on. I'm only working on three projects right now, and okay. it's funny because I'm trying to finish things. But you know me, I haven't finished anything yet. But January's, oh, those socks. January's not over yet. Yeah, my socks. Yeah. So these are the Clark socks again. Yep. Um, one of them's almost done. I just have to put in my afterthought heel, but I'm waiting until um, my second one. And Angelique did update. I mean, she's open again. Yes, so. she opened the shop. So this one I'm almost, I mean, well, I have that much more to go. And then I can just do afterthought heels in both of them and be done. They're lovely. I love them. Yeah, they're pretty. They're so pretty. Um, and again, I can't remember the name of this color yarn. Did you ever figure that out? I should have looked No, because she didn't have a name, I think. I think did she, she did have, I think oh. she does have a name okay. and I should have written it down. Uh, but these are very fun socks. I will say though, I'm anxious to get back just to vanilla socks. 
works. I think these <laughs> yes. are gorgeous, though. And I think once a year you have to do something with a pattern. I don't know. Like, just, you know what yeah, I mean? Just to, just to feel like. To make you appreciate the vanilla sock again, guess if so. nothing else. But this yarn is what has made oh, me totally. want to keep going because it's absolutely gorgeous and squishy. And yeah, I love it. I love the nice. colors, that everything about it. I, I love know. how good the cable shows up on I it. Know. Sometimes cable do they can get this, show, yeah, yeah, they can disappear, especially in speckled yarn sometimes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So the yarn, this yarn just really makes it pop. And then you have the uh, cable down the back, too. It's beautiful. Yeah. So anyway, Very those good. are fun. I'm, I'll definitely, I'll finish those, I think, this next week, I would think. But, um, but the shawl has literally, well, that and my next project have taken most of my time. The socks I just kind of work on when I have time, but. I what started a hat. Ooh, um, yeah, it was a really cute hat. I don't remember what it's called at the moment. Oh, something about a moon. Hmm. Something about a moon. And I was using Desert Vista Dye Works, Lisa Frank. It's a DK weight, and it's very colorful. Mm. And it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it to. Yeah. It just, I don't know. You know, I love Desert Vista Dye Works mm -hmm. yarn. I just wasn't liking Is this. Is it too bright or something for you? or what? You well, for one thing, when I ordered it in the DK weight, for some reason in my head, I was thinking that the stripes would be longer, oh, like, okay. you know, in the sock. Yeah. You get a few rows yeah. of the color. Okay. I mean, several rows. Right. Well, in the hat, in the DK weight, it was still like the same amount of stripe and okay. so they were going to be much more narrow so yes. it was like a lot of color changes okay. i was thinking like a thick striped hat would mm -hmm. be really cute yeah yeah this wasn't working out that way and so mm -hmm. yeah i just didn't like it mm -hmm. i just thought well, this isn't I'm not gonna yeah why am i knitting something that i'm not loving yeah so i ripped it out and thought well i could always knit oh so a sweater mm -hmm. or not yeah. you know what yeah. i mean i don't oh, so loves you no matter if you knit him a sweater i or have not, already obviously. earned his love mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, you don't do anything else. And I have enough. I felt bad because I love Desert Vista Dye Works yarn. Mm -hmm. I love totally. You know the idea. Oh, I should use it. Yeah, but I have a lot of yarn here that I love. Totally. And totally. if I'm not loving knitting with that, well, and if it's just not right for the project, there's sometimes yarn that you're just like, man, this is not working with the project. But you you love the yarn, you know. I think self striping is just kind of that way. It has to yeah, be the right project. It does. You know, and a striped hat. I think I think striped hats are really yeah, cute. Definitely. It's just I just wasn't liking these colors anymore. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It yeah. is okay. I feel better now for sure. So is that, that a hat that you're knitting then, or what's that? No. Okay. Remember, quite a while ago, I started mm -hmm. the sushi cowl. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. So I I did some work on it. Oh good. I did some work on good. the um the two greens here. Nice. And then I have the black and the white to do the rice. Okay. And then whatever the black is, I guess the wrapper thing for the outside. Oh, yeah. I oh, don't know. seaweed. Oh, se Maybe I mean, the dark seaweed. I guess. Around then I don't maybe. know what this is. That could be the avocado. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't eat sushi. I love sushi. I, I just had some today before Sorry. I came Oh, how funny then. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you're knitting a sushi yeah. cowl and you don't eat sushi. I started this like a year ago. Yeah. And I just put it away because it's boring. Yeah. You know, it's a yeah. boring knit, but I like it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's going to be cute when it's done because I yeah. will use buttons and it'll be like a mm -hmm. double it up, button it kind oh, of thing. Oh, fun. But it's just, I think someone else that did it did the rice in like a seed stitch. Oh, okay. That's which pretty. Which is cute. Yeah. So I'll do that. But mm -hmm. other than that, I mean, it's pretty much stuck in it. Just knitting. Okay. And Oh, no, it's not stocking. I mean, it is stocking it, mm -hmm. so you're knitting and purling. But mm -hmm. I decided I'm in no hurry, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. this is my project for when we're doing something that I need to not think. Oh, that's good. All. That's good. And, you know, you always like yeah. to have those projects. So No, I hear a lot of moms, like, if they uh, take their kids to school or have to wait at a bus stop, they'll just keep one project in the car, yeah. and that's the only time they work on it. And so that project yes. might take two years to right. finish, but that's the only time they work on it, you know? Yeah. And I think that's great. I I don't know. I like to finish things. So I don't. I, I think that would drive me nuts maybe. I well, when I first pulled this out and was working on it again, I was like, I'm going to finish this. You yeah. Know? And But then as I was like able to, when we were playing phase 10 and uh -huh. stuff, I was able to knit on this mm -hmm. and because it takes no brain power. That's good. And I thought, yeah, you know, it is nice to yeah. have that. So I'm just going to keep it as that. And yeah. when I finish it, it's not like I'm going to try to not finish it. Like, 
Right. I don't want it to be the perpetual rest of my life project. Yeah, <laughs> but, exactly. Um, but it is something, too, that you could probably wear in the spring. So it's not like you feel like, I have to get it done this season. Winter, right, because I know. definitely don't wear cowls as a warmth right. thing. Right, right. So. Now, which which one are you wearing This there? is the Land of Sweets. Okay. Um, I did a snack size. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I just... Mini. <laughs> yeah, I don't like nice. super long ones. Yeah, yeah. And as I was doing this one... I was like, well, then I, done. Dis <laughs> I discovered this pattern for the blanket. Yeah. And I was like, I don't have to use my minis That's for true. this. That's I true. can put them into the brioche blanket. Perfect. And I can be done with this. There you go. And then I'll wear it. That's right. Because if I had done it, yeah. you know, this yeah. long, yeah. I wouldn't have worn yeah. it. It just, yeah. I just don't like That's them when funny. they're like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is more about just having some color. Well, there you go. There you go. Splash yes. of color on it. Splash of color. Looks awesome. Thank you. See, we're the boss of our nets. We can do what That's we want right. to do, you know? We can follow a pattern or not. Okay, so I'm working on my sweater. Went back to Twisted and got two more skeins in my yarn. Oh, yes. And I need to actually probably go back today and get two more. Oh. So it's the Drea, Re Drea Renee Knits, uh, The Weekender by Andrea Mowry. And, you know, it's pretty boring. I mean, as far as looks, it's not much has changed. I mean, I've knit a ton on it, but it's nothing's changed. I'm yeah, not there's up, no new stitches Yeah, I'm not there. up to the armholes yet. I'm not, you know. Um, I'm trying to remember what color this is again. I wrote postcard. Down. Postcard. Thank you. Damn. Check out the thank memory you. bank on Michelle. So, yeah. Like an elephant. And like I said, you're, you're knitting it inside out. Oh, right. It's really, that's the outside. Yeah. But I love it. I mean, I love knitting <laughs> on it. It's been fun. Um, I love that you can just spit slice it to join it. That's been very nice. I heard I said I won't have ends to weave in when I'm done, That's except for nice. at the start. Um, so that'll be really I've nice. I've still never successfully done that. But. Yeah. Um, so anyway, between this and my new shawl, well, and the socks, I don't know. I just, it's been nice to have three pro projects that aren't, they're, they're kind of mindless. Mm -hmm. I mean, the shawl, I have to think a little bit because I have to pay attention. Each row is a little different. But this is totally mindless, and the socks are pretty much mindless. I mean, it's a pattern, but it's once you've done it on the first sock, you kind of get it on the second sock. Yeah. So it's been kind of nice, you know. Yeah. Um, I am going to knit this one longer, though, than what she calls for. I think she says at 15 inches, go ahead and separate for the sleeves. And I just like my sweaters longer, so I'm going to probably, <coughs> I don't know, go to 17 maybe. I don't know. I'll just decide when I get there. Yeah. But I'm loving it. I'm, I want to have it finished by the end of January because I do want to wear it for February and March, I'm hoping. Okay. So I want to be able to wear it this year. So that's my goal is to... So it's it's weird because usually when I knit on sweaters, I'm monogamous on sweaters. And so I can crank them out. So to me, I feel like this has been <laughs> on the needles for a while. Uh, so it's kind of driving me nuts. But I'm you're like, getting to enjoy it longer that way. I am. But no, I don't know with sweaters. <laughs> I just want to get it done. I want to wear it. I want to wear it now. Mm -hmm. So... With socks, I don't care. I can wait because I have tons of other socks. Right. Sweaters, I just get excited about wearing the sweater. I was feeling that so, way with my sweater. Yeah. And then I hardly worked on it this last two week two period weeks, because yeah. of the doing the cowl. Takes your attention. The hat that I tore out. Yeah. But, I mean, it just. Yeah. Um, well, and that's the thing. This sweater has definitely not stolen my attention because to me, it's not. It's not engaging my mind as much, um, and so. I'm not, I don't wake up thinking about it, wanting to hurry up and find time to work on it, which is weird for me. Most sweaters, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to knit some more on it. This one, I'm just kind of like, all right, let's just get this thing done. Because I think I want the product more than I want to knit on it. Yeah. So um, this is definitely more of a um, project product knit uh, not uh, instead of uh, a process oh yes. yeah product instead of a process knit whereas the shawl to me it's just oh the process like has been it. fun yeah it's just been fun to do and it's weird because when i knit on that shawl i knit slower really it's almost like i'm savoring each stitch which is so <laughs> weird to it's think cute. about yeah i've never been that way oh. like it's just weird well it's because like, it's your best friend going, shawl uh, right maybe, i mean maybe that's why it's but it's just weird because every stitch i do i'm like wow that looks really nice yeah, that's really pretty <laughs> damn i'm good <laughs> no but isn't that funny a master though? knitter now <laughs> no it's just weird because i told my husband i said there's some people who are beautiful knitters like when you look at their stuff like just the quality like their stitches are beautiful and i've never felt that way but when i'm knitting that shawl like when i'm looking at the stitches i'm like man that's really pretty 
But it's not me. It's not me. Obviously, it's the it's the yarn and it's the pattern and it's you know what I mean. And like a it's, knitter, you can take some credit. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like a lot of projects, I'll look at and I'll be like, yeah, I knit that. That's it's good. It's knit, but mm -hmm. it's I don't know. These stitches are just beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Strange. So it's been a fun knit. But yeah. I'll anything have to else? Consider it you knitting on anything else, girl. Not that I brought out because really it's just been yeah no. I do have something else knit to show mm. that Carrie sent me. Nice. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I saw it on, oh, I saw it on her podcast. On her podcast. Yes, yeah. Uh, she used her machine. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because I totally thought of you when she, she was saying, <laughs> she said, I'm thinking about gifting it to someone. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's totally Michelle. I was like, it looks like Michelle. It's very nice. That's I like pretty. it. It's nice yes. and soft. And is it, it's it her yarn. It wraps twice. Right? Uh-huh. Yep. And yep. she sent it with, I love people that have these cute... Tags, tags or... for their stuff oh, you know it's like the yeah. animal thing and then so cute knitted by and she just had it in there it's, i mean i could That's do awesome. that i've got stamps yes I could, you do you used to be the uh, stamp and queen i girl. was like a stamp queen. you were a stamp yeah queen. oh boy uh oh you were the stamp and queen. oh was. lordy okay who wants you my daughter. Oh, oh it's okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't show last time I wanted to show. That's mm -hmm. not why I have it sitting here. But mm -hmm. Lori, the gifts that she gave us. Yes. She gave it to us in these cute little boxes. I love Mine boxes. was the cutest. It had the penguins. It's very cute. I just have a bunch of our our stuff in here. So Very cute. But I love these mm -hmm. little penguins. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. Okay. So Although mine said joy on it. Not that she's, you know... She said, you, know. you bring her joy, whereas <laughs> she thinks of penguins. Birds that poop everywhere. She thought of me. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I assume penguins just poop wherever. Uh, I would assume. Yes. But they're adorable. They're and don't really they mate cute. for life? Right. So, you know, they have some good qualities. And the man sits on the egg. That's right. Does a lot of the work. At least according to whatever that cartoon exactly. was. Exactly. Yeah. That animated that's Happy right. Feet. Yes, I think so. I think wow. Right. I am impressing myself yes. with my long term memory. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Sorry, so. So, should we do prizes or should we do. Well, um, yeah, let's do Happy our. Mail or let's do our little talk. prizes. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Our Betty. Yes, our Betty doll is going to go to a new home. It is. So it we is. have our beautiful Betty. I'm sorry for the little box. It's a little. So thing. for the record. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this was the would you rather lick phones or eat earwax. Yes. And there is 123. Okay, we had 135, mm -hmm. 134 because the first one was mine. Okay. 134 people chimed in on this. Okay. 123 phone lickers. Really? So the phone lookers took it. All right. Yeah. All right. The not as many people were lining up for the earwax. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I asked my husband what he preferred. He actually considered the earwax. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" What I love oh. is, and I mean, we do the same thing, but the loopholes that people try to find. Yes. Yes. You know? yes. Well, if I can disinfect the phones first, or if I can, right. you know, drink some whiskey right after, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Oh, add chocolate to the earwax oh and spread gosh. it on toast. I don't oh. know. <laughs> I know. No, I'm, none of that matters. No, I know. It's so disgusting. So, <laughs> so, so yes. Oh, we haven't said who won it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, so send us your information. Yeah. <laughs> Sidetracked again. Everyone, send us your information. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stephanie mm -hmm. C. Steffi Knit, mm -hmm. number 114. Yes, congratulations. So send us your info. And then simple videos of you licking the phones. Yes, that will would do. Be, that would suffice. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Cute. If you can find any phones, I don't know. I know public, that's public phones very out there. difficult. Cute. Oh. That's um, fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. no, nothing. So oh. then our other one was for mm -hmm. the pattern for the Rose City knit along. Yes. And, you know, if you well, I guess it's a little late to say this mm -hmm. because we already have our winner, and I assume she wants the knitted one. So never mind. Okay. I was going to say, if there they wanted the crochet, crochet one, but we're in it now. We're done. Yeah. So this was the, would you rather live without electricity or without water? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. again, we had some folks that were trying to find the loophole, like, well, in the winter, I'll do it this way. In the yeah. summer, I'll do it this way. <laughs> Part-time this. I don't think this was, like, for the rest of your life. Right. Right. I mean, it was just temporary, I right? Don't know. Because if it was for the rest of your life, I think, you know, a high bridge with a hard floor would be my option. Yeah, <laughs> Jump. yeah. Oh, um, man. I don't think they call it a floor at the bottom of the bridge. Know. But anyway, uh, that had 112 and 
I was, because I think I would have to say I'd go without the, I mean, I'd go without the water, even though yeah. I, because I can, I can go buy bottled yeah. water. Yeah. I can dig, you know, dig deep enough and come up with some water in the ground yes, somewhere. Something would happen. But mm -hmm. the electricity is my just. Yeah. Look at all the electricity yes. you're using right now. I mean, geez, Louise, <laughs> talk about an anxiety attack. <laughs> Tell me I don't have electricity. We could podcast if we didn't have electricity. Right. See? Oh, my gosh. The world would a be A lot over. of things would be coming to a screeching halt <laughs> without right. electricity. That's true. So anyway, so uh, 25, roughly. I mean... I, this is not a scientific, this is okay. a quick count. And those that like gave the stipulation of summer here, winter there, I didn't even count you okay. because <laughs> you're like me. You're like, I'm not committing to either one That's of those right. hells. That's right. Full but, time, um, yeah. So 25 out of the 112 said that they would take electricity over water. Really? So most oh. people saw the value in having the running water. Interesting. And a lot of people have had experienced it. Okay. And okay, could yeah, yeah. speak from experience. Yeah. Makes um, sense. But then there were people like me that were like, no, I'll go buy one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so wow. oh, I just had a vision in my head. I don't know if I should. Yeah. Were well, you thinking of a toilet that Yes. I was thinking, well, I was thinking you can get water out of your toilet. That's ew, disgusting. Ew, yeah, that's really But my gross. husband has all those, like, you know, he's like a prepper. So he has, like, all those really good filtrate filtrated straws that you can drink water from a sewer and it cleans all the garbage <laughs> out of it you know he has like all those and bottled yeah. water saved in the shop if things are to the point in life where i would have to contemplate drinking sewer water i'd just soon be one of the dead ones <laughs> You know, I mean, That's much true. as I love life. That's right. There's water somewhere. <laughs> Sewer water. Just uh, how yeah. bad have things gotten? I know. You know, muddy puddle outside. I could drink. Uh, but yeah, sewer water. Yeah. You would. I would have to be desperate. I would have to be like. Yeah, I mean, now that's not to say, like, honestly, I've not been in the life and death situation no. of dying from dehydration. Right. I right. think that'd be a horrible way to go. Yes, yes. And so I might. You might. Yeah, I think I would if I got desperate enough. But, but it would have to be, like... I'm talking end of times, mm -hmm. you know, if we're talking end of the world, yeah. and it's just the few people left that survived the blast or whatever, <laughs> and it comes down to drinking urine out of a straw... But it would filter it. It would filter I'm it, though. Just like, it would filter it, though. I don't know for sure what's going to happen after you die, but I'm going to take my chances <laughs> that there's clean water on the other side <laughs> of that rainbow bridge. <laughs> so, anyway, the winner of this one is Nancy. Nancy McMa. Okay. Nancy MCMA. All right, congratulations, So you get Nancy. the pattern. I hope you knit it along with us. I hope so. I need to still go buy mine. Uh, it says well, it's in my library, but I haven't purchased it yet. Are you sure so, it's the 27 or 2018? Yeah, one? because I looked it up and it said in your library, but I'm like, it can't be in my library if I haven't purchased it yet. That's weird. So that's really weird. And it doesn't say anybody's purchased it for me. So yeah, that's strange. Weird. So I don't know if it's just there, but I still have to like activate it by purchasing i don't, I don't know. know i've never had a pattern because that, that usually way. just goes to your favorites right? i know yeah or no yeah i don't know i, know. I don't know i don't know either so That's i fine. had pulled out this this is oh, not yeah. these are not purchases these are from your stash from my stash because i had originally purchased hundred acre wood yes. and dust bunny uh Beautiful. republic of wool mm -hmm. to do this the rose city knit along yep but I mean, I love this. Yeah. But I had it next to, it's not here, it's over there. Uh, that, see that reddish yep. one? Yeah. It's a Lolo did it. Mm -hmm. I had that next to that and they mm. looked so good together. Yeah. This, beautiful. like I wouldn't put these together. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Anyway. So then I, and I got to thinking, I mean, these do go good together. They do. They do. But I got to thinking. Not a lot of contrast. First though. I started thinking, ooh, the pink would brighten it mm. up. But then it looks a little bit like a baby blanket. Yeah. Yeah. So then I was looking at those look good together. Don't, I like those. Yeah. Like those. That is amazing. This is yeah. Barnyard Knits Rustic Oak. Gorgeous. And I thought that's a nice contrast. Yeah, that's a good. It's not far off from that. No. It's just a little bit deeper. Yep. Or this is also Barnyard Knits. Yeah. <laughs> Mulberry patch, yep. which is very similar, but it's I mean, yeah. these are two different colors, but they're this very similar. Seems richer. And this is sparkle. Yep, it's sparkle. I mean, and this one's not, but All I think right. that's okay. So 
Yeah. yeah, I think I've changed my I mind. think you couldn't go wrong with either that one or that one. I mean, I think right. either one of those looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to do this one. So yeah. I think this is going to be my new Beautiful. I combination. Need to, yeah, I need to pick out my combo. Which means this one can be used now for something there else. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Don't her things usually have tags? <laughs> what yeah, I did with the tags. that's funny. Yeah. So must anyway. Have fallen off. It must have fallen off somewhere. So those are my Rose City. And when is that? Is that <coughs> next next week it starts? I think it comes out on the 24th or something. Okay. I think the first clue is like the 24th. Okay. So yeah, we're going to be ready. get on that. I know. Uh -huh. i got to get prepped. Maybe I'll try and finish this Just shawl. Say, maybe finish one thing before yeah. then. Or at least get the socks off or something. Get the socks yeah. off the needles. So I can focus on that. And how long does that run? It's like there's like four or five clues, four clues. Yeah, I mean it's well, I think it ends when the when the yarn crawl starts, starts. which so is usually like their... end of February, okay. maybe beginning of March. It's usually right around Rebecca's birthday. Okay. Which okay. is the end of March, uh, end of February. Okay. Okay. So so that'll be fun. Let's talk about this. Okay. Because yeah, we forgot this. last time. Yeah. So Leslie about. Wind, mm -hmm. she has a lovely Etsy shop yes. with Handcrafted shawl pins mm -hmm. and all stuff like made from stainless steel. Yeah, or... beautiful. She had contacted us and talked about sending us mm -hmm. um, something, and she sent this very unique mm -hmm. um, uh, cable needle. Ca thank you. Mm -hmm. I, ca I crochet. Yeah, I kept wanting to say crochet, but mm -hmm. I knew it had nothing to do with crochet. Yeah. It's a cable needle ring, mm -hmm. so you could like be wearing it. While and you're then knitting. when you need it, I guess just kind of yeah. And then it would just hang there nicely, mm -hmm. and then you could just slip it back on your needle. And it could also. I wonder if it still could be a shawl pin too, though. I asked her, and she said no. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, and interesting. I don't know if I mean maybe too pokey, or I don't know. Or did she say no? I think I asked her that, and she's okay. Anyway, I don't know. I, I mean, if you could figure it out. It could be. It could but, be. You know. I mean, you can stick it through your nose if you want. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> One ear ring. <laughs> um, that is true. Anyway, I we talked amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. and I we've decided that this would make a lovely giveaway mm -hmm. because instead of us fighting over it, right? So. Yeah, we don't want to fight over. Yeah, right. the, and we could share it. Yeah. Sometimes those shared custody things are a little awkward. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Can I have them for the week? Right, and, right. You know, I've got my in-laws coming. Yes. They want to meet them. It's you better know, for it just, you guys just to have. Yeah. It. So one of you lucky winners. One of you lucky winners. Mm -hmm. So we'll have you. We'll open a thread. Mm -hmm. You can go to her shop and check mm -hmm. it out. There'll be yeah. a link. You can tell us what you like. Yeah. And um, just lots of unique. She does have very neat looking yeah. stuff. I actually had bought something from her a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. A beautiful um, darning needle. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Did you buy it? Were those the glass? Those weren't the glass No, I got ones. the glass ones are from a place I think called Mud House. Okay. Those are really pretty. Yeah. Too. I got. Okay some of my knitting mm -hmm. friends glass yep. darning needles that yep. were really nice Very too mm -hmm. i mean everyone hates weaving it most people hate weaving mm -hmm. it in so if you can do it with something extra totally, pretty totally you should i agree and a sharp needle is i like sharp ones i have one that i go to all the time now and use for darning and really? stuff where'd yeah. you get it Oh, I don't even know. Oh. It's just probably from Joanne's or oh. Michael's, but it's just but it's very nice sharp. sharp. Cool. And I like that because it really gets in yeah. if I want to. Yeah. Someone asked us if we would ever show some of the tips that we learned. Oh, right. Not today, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I think yeah. we could do that at some point. Although mm -hmm. we are not the best. Like, for one thing, we're not really set up here to really show mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's still not really our thing. Like, well, we're, I mean, yeah. I could show you. We could show you if you were here, mm -hmm. but... There's so many people out there that do great tutorials, mm -hmm. and I just don't think that's our gift. No, and the thing is, too, is it's like, I haven't really practiced much of what she taught us, <laughs> which shame on me, right. you know? I've kind of. I mean, sometimes I, I do yeah. I do the one on the garter, okay. because that's the easiest. Yes, that is the easiest. But when it's anything else, I just... Yeah, so but, I feel bad, because I don't think I... I'm, I don't feel like an expert on like I could show people because to me I just kind of make it work. I yeah. would have to I would have to review and Your go notes. over. Yeah. And I don't know if I took good notes. I took notes. Yeah. Anyway, it's not that we don't want to share the yeah. information. I just don't I know totally that we're the would. best go to people yeah. for that. I yeah. think that you could put it into YouTube. Yeah. You yeah. How to weave in ends. Lots yeah, of you great probably tutorials. Find them much better. And yeah. yeah, we're not being lazy. Yeah. We no. just know that 
we might lead you astray <laughs> is what could happen we don't want to be blamed for that i don't want to get blamed for your ends <laughs> i don't want your ends coming through and unraveling your whole project and then they trace it back to us right it all goes video. back to those naughty notes <laughs> so okay the addy flip stick yes. things whatever yes some I, people love them some people some hate people them love and hate them yeah i'm still on the fence okay um i cast on the cuffs for my other half of my uh what are those called oh yes jelly rolls yes jelly roll <laughs> socks mm -hmm. and someone mentioned in our group mm -hmm. that they use the nine inch cirques mm -hmm. for casting on hmm. and i thought why the hell have mm -hmm. i never done that mm -hmm. like i know i don't want to knit with nine inch circulars right. they're just too tiny yeah yeah but for casting on it's mm -hmm. like why not yeah so i ordered yeah. i ordered a size two uh the regular one that i use in a size two mm -hmm. because sometimes for cuffs you want bigger cuffs right mm -hmm. well the ones aren't here yet so i can't actually use them for my other socks but the twos came mm -hmm. look at how tiny those I little know. babies are see to me i don't like that like i would prefer the flips the flips to me just for casting just, on yeah them? i just cast on to one of the flips i know and then i just immediately transfer half of them to the other one I and i've already got it in the round i know and i did those that. just look so i do that fiddly. and i haven't I done this yet so yeah. my the ones that match the size that I need for those socks is supposed to be here tomorrow. Okay. So I will actually try it. Yeah. Yeah. I might not be doing this either. I know. But I just, um, I stress out mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. over twisting those stitches, oh. even with like, even just, and I haven't done it yet. I haven't twisted them yet. Yeah. That has not happened with the socks, yeah. but I don't know. It just stresses me out so much mm. doing, look at how cute he mm -hmm. is. I mean, yeah. look at this, you guys. Look, do you mm -hmm. see? I know. He's just nestled in He's there. so sweet. You need a little baby carrier for him. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> it's like everyone loves him. Well, sometimes he's in my sweatshirt and I do. He yeah, likes being there. So, so I should just get a little baby should, Bjorn little or whatever. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so it'll be saying. it'll be interesting. I'm yes. I'm excited to try it. I know that I will not want to knit on these. Yeah, because the needle is like that long. It's so yeah, it's, to me there's nothing to hold on to. But if I use it just for casting on and it makes casting on better for me, then there you go. To me, it's worth it. Yeah, totally. So totally, and you're not out a lot of money. I'm not out if it doesn't needles. work out. So everything's um, okay. Everything's good. That's true. So do you have community service? I just have two. I mean, I bought Nanette's bag. I and then it. I had knit with Wee Chickadee. Their uh, Willow song, Michelle had given me a mini skein in my advent calendar at Christmas time. And as soon as I started putting it into my blanket, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have yeah, a, skein, a full skein of this yarn. So I contacted them because they didn't have any in their shop. And I said, can you please dye me some Willow song? And Jennifer was very sweet and said, of course we will. We'll dye it up for you. So anyway, it is such a sparkle. beautiful color. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I have no project in mind, but it's just gorgeous. And I love staring at it. I and then too. they sent me this mini, which I don't know what color this is, ladies. So you gotta tell what me what is color it, it is. It doesn't, <laughs> I don't think it came with a tag. I didn't oh. I remember seeing one, but I think it's really pretty. It's very pretty. So anyway, um, I'll probably put that into my next blanket, but that's all I bought. I've been very good. It's funny, lately I've just been totally satisfied with my stash. Good. Which is a weird feeling for me. Mm -hmm. I've had little desire to go on and buy stuff. I'm so impressed. I don't know why. I don't know what's come over me. I don't well, like I feel, things, I don't have like this desire. I don't, well, I guess sometimes I do. So I don't yeah. usually have this desire to go buy something. It's just I see things and yeah. I'm like, oh my maybe God. Maybe that's the key. I haven't been on yes. Etsy maybe. So maybe that's part of it. And if I stay off Etsy, that helps. But then there's Instagram. Yeah. True. Instagram's a killer. And it is. Yeah. It yeah. is. So. So I do have a few things. Yeah. And then we'll show our. Yeah. Our, prize our prizes for our knit-alongs. Our three-hour long prize giveaway. Yes. You know, no, we've we'll got we've got it down. Just got it dialed in. Yes. yes. It's, it's down to a science. Well, well one of the things I got mm -hmm. was... Uh, Long dog yarn. Mm. I enjoyed working with her Bermuda shorts so much. Mm. This was her holiday 2017 colorway. Nice. So it was going away. Yeah. And I just really thought it was beautiful. It is. So I had to get it. Of course. And I think it's on a cashmere base. Yeah. It looks like, I mean, yeah. I, I was going to say. Yep. Cashmere nylon. And you know what I'm going to do? Okay. So mm -hmm. you know how I have my yarn kind of by color mm -hmm. family? Yeah. 
I decided I'm going to go through and pull out single plies, mm. cashmere, silks. Oh, interesting. And then any other weights. Mm. And then keep those, like, all my um, single plies, keep those together. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think so, because when I'm thinking of a project, mm -hmm. um, and we kind of talked about this maybe last time, but mm -hmm. combining, like, if you're going to do a three-color shawl, right. would you do one of those as a single ply and the other two, you know, mm -hmm. a single ply, a cashmere, and a silk. You wouldn't mm -hmm. put those together, right? You could. I mean, like the shawl I'm knitting, um, hers is not super washed, and it definitely has a different twist to it. It looks different than my evil little goat yarns. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it would just depend on the project and the look mm -hmm. you're going for. Maybe not typically, but I think it just depends on the project and the person knitting it, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if there's a sign or a Well, I'm rule. not saying you'd be uh, wrong if you did it. I'm just yeah. thinking as I'm as if I'm contemplating a project and my yarn. Yeah. I think I just kind of feel like if I'm going to be making a project with single ply, I'm going to use single ply. Yeah. And if I'm going to make a... But I don't know. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. I know. I don't know. That's why I'm saying. I don't know yeah. if there's like a rhyme to or a reason to yeah. it or if there's... Like, I am kind of worried about the shawl because the pink is not super wash. So I'm kind of thinking, oh, how's that going But that's fine because you hand wash anyway. I hand wash it. Yeah, yeah. so you're fine. That's true. I guess it doesn't matter. That's really <coughs> like the Excuse me. So wow. this is uh, this is Face with a View. That's gorgeous. Which I don't know what that's from. It's got to be some sort of a reference to something. Yeah. But it's from Goosey Fibers, which is who Nick and Kim got me those other skeins. That's gorgeous. From... I love this. And mm -hmm. it, she had them on sale mm. after Christmas or whatever. Nice. So... It's pink. That's and, beautiful. Like I need more pink in my life, but everybody needs more pink in their life. Pink. And it's sparkle. So and it's of course sparkle. You do. The sparkle got to me. It's gorgeous. Sparkle always gets to that's me. It's gold sparkle. It's and in nice. fact, Bohemian Fibers. I think yes. that's their name. It's something very similar to that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll put a link. She. Mm -hmm. I still get ear burned or whatever mm -hmm. in her Ravelry group. Yeah. For when she's doing different swapless swaps, mm -hmm. which yeah. I don't need more minis, but. Right. She's doing a sparkle, mm. swapless swap, Wizard of Oz. Oh, wow. And what what's unique about this swap is you choose your photo as your oh, color inspiration. That's cool. And then she dyes your skein based on her interpretation of your photo. Interesting. And then... If you want a full skein of that, you pay extra, like mm. I think twenty five more, and you get a full skein. Mm. But regardless, for thirty dollars, I think you get everybody's mini, mini. skein. Oh, fun! Yeah, fun. and I mean, I don't even like the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> and I don't need out. minis. <laughs> but it's a sparkle. I know. And then I saw some of the pictures people were posting, and I was like, "Well, that's actually cool. That's mm. actually cool." And then I posted one of Tin Man. Oh. Remember the movie? Okay, so yes. there was Tin Man the movie with this Zoe, that cute little Zoe D girl, Zoe Deschanel, Did, yeah, or whatever. She's yeah. in it, and I mean, it's kind of a weird take on Wizard of Oz, but yeah. I like it. And yeah. uh, Okay, off subject. Have you seen The Greatest Showman yet? No. What she is it? I have to go see that movie. Oh, it's a movie in the yes, theater? It's so good. What's it called? The Greatest Showman? The Greatest Showman. Yeah, Showman. It's, it's based on Barnum and Bailey Circus. Oh. Uh, J.P. Barnum. I don't know if oh. J.P.'s right. J. something Barnum. It's the story of his Interesting. life. But it's a musical. Oh. You don't like musicals. <sighs> no, but you know what? It's funny because, okay, my daughter Emily had gone to see it. She said, Mom and Dad, you guys have to go see it. My husband does not like musicals. He went the whole time I was sitting there going, he's going to He's going to hate this. We get out. He was like, well, that was one of the best movies I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? So oh he gosh. loved it. Hugh Jackman's wow. in it. And he has an amazing voice. He likes voice. to be in those singing movies. Oh, and I hate his Les Mis. beautifully done. And he like, your done. husband like that? Yes, he loved Les Mis. Yeah, so he does not hate musicals. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think, like, which musicals he doesn't like. But yeah. he, he usually does not like musicals. Okay. But it was a beautiful, it's one of those movies that you just have to see in the theater, though. Because it's. It's beautiful. Because then you've paid a lot of money and you don't want to walk well, out. Not if you go to Oak Grove. You <laughs> oh. know? We went to the cheap okay. theater to see it. It's just too uncomfortable yeah. there. I know. I'm sorry. Believe me, it smells. I know. No, and it's just it's not even the smell. <laughs> it's the chairs. They hurt my back. Yeah. I'm dying yeah. by the time a movie's it's over true. there. It's yeah. true. I know. I just didn't want to pay ten fifty a ticket. I, I was like, oh, I'll pay five fifty or six a ticket, but not ten. I go so infrequently to movies and theaters. I'm not going to be in pain. True. No, that's true. You know? See, I'm not in pain. If I was in pain, I would get what you're saying. Yeah. Seriously. Totally. Plus, totally. in regular theaters, you're sitting a lot closer to people. You are. And they're always eating. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Crunching on popcorn. Where was I? 
Oh my gosh, where was this? Somewhere mm. and the popcorn. <laughs> You've blocked it out of your memory. So I'm gonna have to remember because I don't even know if I told you about it, but I was oh. like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna I'll have to You're think about this. Crazy. Not while we're recording, because okay. it's not that fun to sit and watch me thinking about something. It is really though. Yeah. Because you can see the wheels are you can't you can see like the smoke trying, coming we're trying up. to think. We're trying to think. So I got my last, I canceled my row one, oh, okay. not because I don't love it, I know. but because I just don't need the minis. Yeah. If I ever get caught up, like mm -hmm. this brioche blanket thing That's really right. takes off for there me, you go. then I'll, I'll, I would totally do it again. Yes. It's been fun. Uh, the yeah. row one is where you, every month the gal that coordinates it gets different skeins of yarn from different indie dyers. Mm -hmm. And then you end up, you know, with the minis from... That's just a fun way to check out different dyers' yarns. Can I tell you about one thing that I just signed up for? Yes, please do. Yeah. Not yarn related at what? all. Is it a makeup thing? Not makeup. Okay. It's called Scent Bird. You guys will have to go check it out. You get for fourteen ninety five a month. You get a fragrance, a designer fragrance, not just cheap garbage. Uh, it's supposed to be a thirty day supply. Um, uh, Oil? We'll see. No, perfume. Oh, I don't do perfume. I love perfume. Okay. But I don't like spending, you know, $80 on a good bottle of perfume. So I thought, you know what? This is a way I can try different perfumes. They have you take a profile, uh, you know, like a, a mm -hmm. quiz to see which what scent you like. you like. And then you can even go through all their scents and add oh. them to your queue. And those are the ones that they will oh, that's supposedly nice. send you. I think it's um, input. I have not gotten it yet. I mean, my shipment will come out, I think, the end of January. But I'm just curious because I thought. Okay, Scent me, Bird. Yeah, Scent Bird. Not for me. I'm doing this for yeah. you guys. I thought, you know, if I have two daughters who are teenagers. So I thought between the three of us. One of us is bound to like the scent of the month, you know? Yeah. So, and my older daughter now is at the age where she likes good quality perfume. She doesn't like just, you know, we used to be huge Bath and Body Works people, you know? But now she like, she wants good smelling perfume, you know? And so I thought, you know, this is a way we can get good perfume. Yeah. But try it out, you know? And it's, Things are always fun. We're not spending to a ton. And if after six months, I'm like, yeah, I've got enough to last me. I don't need any, I can just cancel. Yeah. But anyway, I thought that was, my daughter told me about it and I immediately went on and I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds awesome. I'd like to try different scents and I don't know what the latest and greatest scents are. I don't go, I used to be more into that, but I haven't been. So anyway, totally off subject. That's but, okay. Uh, I'm sure someone out there, there's probably lots of people yeah. that are like, I'm going to go yeah. get me a scent bird. That's right. Yep. And you know what? I shouldn't, have, I should, I shouldn't have said anything because if I, if I refer people and I get a free scent, but I don't even know what you oh, guys, yeah. I don't even know what you guys would have to say. I don't know. What well, we can put have. it in the show notes. Yeah. Because you know what? That reminds me about the elliptigo. Yeah. If if you guys end up getting an elliptigo mm -hmm. and you say that we referred you, mm -hmm. you get $100 and we get $100 in their store. Nice. Now, I don't know if that can go towards your purchase of the elliptigo, though. Yeah. But so mm -hmm. this thing is such a butt kicker. Mm hmm in the best way possible. I was scared to get on it. Like, <laughs> because it's like, well, I'll be like putting an elliptical, a, I'll be putting a but picture in. Move. Yes, except that there's there's a couple different ones. Mm -hmm. And we did not buy the $2,500 one. Yeah. Ours was $1,000. Yeah. And I'm glad we didn't buy more than one. Because yeah. at first I was thinking, well, we should at least get two. But yeah. no. Mm -hmm. Because when you're doing it, you can't breathe. <laughs> you can't talk. Or so you're not going to be talking to anyone. <laughs> and you can't, we can't write it far enough yet. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Michael could walk next to you. And oh, totally. <laughs> totally. So it, it is. It's like now the, the more expensive one, mm -hmm. the pedals are more of the elliptical. Okay. This is more like, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like the moonwalker at the gym. Mm. So it's, it's, and it's like you're standing up riding a bike uphill. Yeah. Is what okay. it feels like okay. the whole time. Yeah. And I was scared. Like, I don't know. I was Did you just. Have a helmet on? And no. Stuff? And okay. I thought, you know, I thought I could still Elbow roller pads. skate. No, but I haven't fallen yet. Okay, good. Okay, but um, you know where the pump house is, just like four blocks yes. down. Yes. Rode it down there and back, and I was like, "Good." I, I mean, I was out of breath. Yeah, that's and awesome. Did that a couple times yesterday, and good. I'd planned on doing it today, but I'm, I, we'll see. Yeah. But um, good, good. I mean, good. it's fun. So can it's, we get video of you doing it? Can oh, he I did. Video? He got okay. some video. All right. Not very much, because by the time he. In fact, I'll put it in. But by the time he started recording me, I'd already gone down mm -hmm. and back. And then he's like, well, turn around and come back this way again. Well, by then I was dying. You're like, like oh, no. I, I'm I mean, I'm like, my legs <laughs> felt like rubber bands. On fire. Oh, and, uh, man. So, but it's fun because Good. it's something different. Yeah. And 
But it's funny because it's like you're learning how to ride a bike yeah. again. Because yeah. it, it, the funny thing is, is when I'm getting off it, yeah. I lift my leg really <laughs> like I'm getting oh, off a bike, you know, That's and funny. I constantly go to put my hand on the seat. Yes. And there's no seat there. Yeah. You try so, to sit down. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> Oh, that's but anyway, funny. but that's yeah, awesome. I mean, it's fun. Good. It's, uh, now, yeah. do you think, uh, I mean, it works your whole body, but do you think you'll, that'll replace your gym or do you think you're going to work different things at the gym and do this on the side? Like, how are you going to incorporate <laughs> both things? Well, me personally, uh -huh. um, I'll have to still go to the gym. Okay. And I, okay. you know, I was doing good at that for like a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, you get sick and I know, and then yeah. this thing is like really gone into my lungs mm. and I don't have the like filled with lungs kind of stuff. I just have that annoying like asthma kind of cough. Yeah, yeah. And I hate it because you start to do anything and you start hacking. Yeah. And I just hate that. But totally. I mean, that's no excuse, but. And we've had um, two gorgeous days, which makes you just want to be outside. Yes, exactly. Know? And so when we have days like this, yeah, I would definitely mm -hmm. do that. And it really works your core more too, mm -hmm. because you're having to stay up. Yeah. And balanced. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's working something. Totally. No, I feel like it's probably working almost and all of And you know what else? I noticed the back of my arms are a little bit sore. Oh, interesting. And so even okay. that, it was. Right, because you're gripping for all your life, I, right? I'm hanging on for dear life. <laughs> you got those clenched. <laughs> it, it's, it was... I did. It's funny because when I was younger, I used to power walk, you know, walk fast. And somebody said, if you just clench your arms when you walk and you swing them, that really works your arms. And I was like, whatever. And I did that. And I was like, the next day, my arms were sore. Yeah. I was like, man, if you do tense your arms when you walk and you swing your arms, like there's something to that. You yeah. Know? So I'm sure just being on that and even being just a little nervous, <laughs> yeah. it probably really did, you know. Yeah. God, it was definitely probably arms. tense. But yeah. it's That's just funny. funny. You know, I, I've been riding a bicycle for over 40 years. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. okay. But it's this shouldn't be scared, but it is. It's yeah. different enough. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Throws you so off a little bit. The first time I did it, I was scared to even turn, mm -hmm. you know, and I was yeah. also scared to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Like, has Michael gotten on it? Oh, yeah. He was so the first one on. Oh, he makes it look easy. Oh, of course. But it kicks his butt, too. Oh, good. So, okay. yeah, well, exactly. That's good. As long at as least there's that. As long as he doesn't so, come back after an hour. I'm yeah. Like, there's nothing. Well, he did. He was like, he was going to, we have this three-mile loop mm -hmm. around the little lake or river, whatever it is out there. Mm -hmm. And um, he was going to... He thought he was just going to take mm -hmm. it around the loop, mm -hmm. and that didn't happen. <laughs> He's like, I, it's so embarrassing, but I got down to, like, oh, the parking lot or whatever, yeah. and I had to come back. And well, start small. You, you know? have to start small. Yes. Work, work your way up. <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So I got these beautiful yarns that from... That one is amazing. This one? one? Yes. I know. Once Upon uh, a Corgi... Yes. She had these Edgar Allan Poe inspired mm. colorways. These are two of them. Gorgeous. Do you want to hold them yes, up? I've got the dog. Course. I know. <laughs> so this one is Ghoul Haunted Woodlands of Weir. Wire. Wow. Gorgeous. It, it is so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And okay, I know this is something that dyers struggle with because even when I'm posting pictures, I struggle too. Yeah. But getting good pictures in your Etsy shop, I know, is hard. Yes. The pictures in her shop don't do these justice. Oh, I'm sure. Like, the only reason yeah. I ordered any of them were because I'd seen a f her photo on Instagram, oh, okay. which showed them better. Yeah, yeah. And so when I when I went to her mm -hmm. shop update after she had them, I got those, mm -hmm. not quite sure that they were even going to be... Like, yeah. this is one of the... Sometimes you get yarn and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. not quite what I was expecting. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Yep. These were like, oh my gosh, I'm so even glad I ordered these. Thought. So this one's insufferably damp. That's what this colorway is. But yeah, they're I gorgeous. They're, they're, yeah. they're so pretty. They're both sparkle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Totally, totally love those. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I yeah. love gorgeous yarn. I know. So I saw this on Instagram mm -hmm. from Starlight Knitting. Yes. And it's Beverly Cleary. Oh, So Starlight Knitting, yarn. our um, local yarn shop that we love. One mm -hmm. of our local yarn shops, but we really love that one. Yes. Junk Yarn. They carry Junk Yarn. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Junk Yarn. Mm -hmm. I can't think of her name. Oh, my gosh. I can see her face. I know. I can see her face. But anyway, she gets her inspiration from women. Mm -hmm. You know, like her yarns are, I think, always named after women. Yeah, I women. think so. Yeah. And so this one she did exclusively for Starlight. And it's Beverly Clary, who a local is a children's author, author who yeah, didn't grow up one. reading some mm -hmm. Beverly Clary. Oh, my gosh. And then your kids are grow you up there, reading. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I read that book so many times. Is that her? I think it's Beverly Clary. 
<laughs> I gotta look it up. <laughs> I was thinking I Mouse so. and the Motorcycle mm. and those. Is Beverly Clary, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret? Okay, we're going to tell you how special she is to it's us. Exactly. That we can't even remember what the books are that she wrote. She was like the, because I remember reading them. Yeah. And I remember Rebecca reading them. Yeah. But I'm going to be interested now to say, because I want to say that's a. Uh, oh, Judy Bloom. Yes. Okay, Judy Bloom. never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So look up Beverly Clary and okay. see what she wrote, because okay. I know that she wrote things that we know. Very yes. Well. Oh, totally. <laughs> Yeah, we totally read her books. Ramona, yes, all mm -hmm. the Ramona books. The Ramona yes. books, yeah. I remember those. Is Ramona she Mouse Clindy. on the Motorcycle? Um, I don't know why, but I loved see. that book as a kid. Let me see. If, gosh, tons of Ramona. Um, uh, Rebecca read all the Ramona books. Yes. And then she was so upset when that movie came out because it was like those characters are not what they were mm. supposed to be. Let me just write or type in mouse. Okay, mouse you do that while I'm. So I have not been one of those people that like totally gets on when someone's having a shop update. I know how though. I yes, have those abilities. You do. And uh, Woolenvine had posted a photo of this one colorway that was going to be in her shop update that I. It is Beverly Clary. Thank mouse you. And the mouse and the motorcycle. If you're looking for your next good read. That's right. <laughs> Six ninety nine right now in yeah. Barnes and Noble paperback. <laughs> go to your local library; it'll yes. take you like twenty minutes to read. But that's right. Um, she's having this shop update, and I fell in love with this colorway um, called Solstice. Mm, yes, but I bought it on the single ply on accident. Oh, I wanted sparkle. Yes, and it's just to me, it's just not the same. Yeah. So Bummer. fortunately, oh, okay. she had another shop update yesterday nice. or the day before, whenever it was. Okay. And I got right on and got it. Good so for you. I do have it coming. I have it coming. The solstice in the sparkle. Nice. And I love it. Now yes. this one, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to see if someone wants to buy it. Yeah. Or if I'm going to keep it. Yeah. Because it's a great neutral. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. it's a gorgeous yeah, neutral. It's beautiful. I just don't know if I need it. But once you get it in sparkle. Once I have it yeah. in sparkle. Yeah. And this one. Oh, my Sparkling gosh. cider. I loved this one. Yes. yes. I love that one, too. Oh, blitzed on her blitzed face. Yes. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I saw this one when she was dyeing it. it sh she showed it in it when it was drying. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that color. That is, I think that must be what happened. And yes. that's why I actually went to her shop update. Because yes. I don't I don't try to go to her shop updates yes. very often. But they're usually sold out by the time you think of it. So, you know, what you get on. Yeah, no, you like, have to do it right when you she, do. And what yeah. I did was this time I went and I read what her yarn bases were. Uh -huh. And I wrote down. Yes. I was like, okay, I'll either take this one or this one. Mm -hmm. But the blitzed is what yes. she calls her sparkle her sparkle mm -hmm. and i wouldn't have known that because yeah. i just i mean i and so um you're always in such a hurry oh, because totally. you're gonna get cart jacked or yes. whatever so it's panic mode total panic <laughs> mode so i i was i was um, initially really disappointed because i loved this yeah, in sparkle it's beautiful it's um, beautiful so now I, I'm, I can be happy again and yes. not look at this with sadness, exactly. knowing that it, that it yeah. is coming in sparkle. It is coming. And um, yeah. I might post this if yeah. somebody wants to buy it. Yeah. So. Gorgeous. What is it about that sparkle, man? I just. <laughs> we are sparkle I, am like, I, I seriously <laughs> am. Anything with sparkle is just. Yeah. Ten times I know. better. And I actually, yeah. like, we've talked about, well, do we, you know, we like it, but do we like it knit up? Yeah. Yeah. Really do. Oh, yeah. Yep. I've got in some my, sparkle in, in here. Yeah, in my blanket, it. when I did sparkle in it, I love those sections the best. Same with my, yeah, Land of Sweets Cow. And anything, anything, anything that, that has sparkle. Has sparkle is gorgeous. We love sparkle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we yes. can do our prizes, prizes. for our year-long <coughs> get-along, which I think we have vowed that we're never going to do again. We'll never do a year long. <laughs> we just feel like losers because yeah. we dropped the ball mm -hmm. about halfway through. I don't even know if that's going to be made. <laughs> okay, so we didn't make it. Ha we made it one month with the Steffets. <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe the socks, two. you know. I just... did all the socks, but I didn't. I mean, I did like 13 socks last year, but I didn't do them like within the month, in the or, month that yeah. I'm supposed to. Like, We're sorry. Um, but, you know, on the other hand, who cares what we do? That's right. You know, <laughs> I mean, about you guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and there are some interesting totals. Yes. So we started the socket mm -hmm. with 363 people signed up nice, nice and we 
knit at least. And I'm just saying we, yeah. so we can be part yeah, of it. Okay, good. Okay. 2,759 pair of socks. That's insane. And that doesn't include what was on the island. Wow. Or, because I know there's people that post it, that didn't post all the photos. They right. would just post the one of their, fo right. of their finished one. So yeah. just in the sock threads, wow. January through December, 27, almost 28. Oh, almost, probably 28. Because yeah. I did 13 pairs. You yeah. did however many pairs. True. Yeah. And then, like you said, the Island of Misfits, people on, didn't finish on time. On Island of Misfits, there's 117 pairs of socks. Wow. That's crazy. And 13 stuffets. And then the Stuffets, 132 people started, mm -hmm. and so not the island, but just in that thread, 435 Stuffets. So there are now 435 Stuffets out in the world. Yeah, because of our knit along. <laughs> That's right. So I have that wow. was really interesting. That is very interesting. Very cool. Very so cool. congratulations! Yeah, all you guys, did you did it. awesome, mm -hmm. and we we're still hosting the alongs because we're going to do the Rose City. Yes, yarn yes, crawl just won't be a whole yeah, year. Thing. Not a whole, we'll just do them sporadically, mm -hmm. kind of the way we do everything. Yeah, sometimes we do this, sometimes we. Don't. You'll never know when it's coming. Yeah, <laughs> or if it's still going on. Or <laughs> right. one day we'll just say, "Hey, we have prizes for that." Uh, <laughs> Remember that thing yes. we talked about? Yeah. So. But there were some amazing socks, amazing stuff. That's, totally. Some of you guys just like blew my mind. Totally. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hopefully you did it more for, you know, the enjoyment of doing it and what you would accomplish as right. a knitter versus any thing from us. Of course. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh, for such sure. A baby, no. I got this little baby on my lap. He just—he's so cute. I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab him. Okay, you grab him, and then, and then um, are you okay with the dog too? Yes, okay. because we have. We'll just kind of show. Should we talk off. how we're working prizes as far no, as? No, I think we're just gonna assign we, prizes. Yeah, we. Okay. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. So in in Ravelry, mm -hmm. I made a thread. Okay, so the card's not in this one of who won it. What the uh -oh. hell is wrong with me? Uh oh. Um, seriously, what a moron. You didn't write it on there. No. The other ones, this was a bad example to start with. So <laughs> we'll come back to that one because, unless it's in here. Nope. All the rest of these, I put the card in the prize okay. of whose it is. Okay. Okay. Except, so we'll get back to that. All right. We'll narrow it down somehow. Mm hmm. We have the thread in Ravelry that is, I don't know what it's called, whatever yeah. it says. Okay. You'll be able to figure it out because mm -hmm. it's not under some mystery name. It says something having to do with prizes. Yeah. Are you going to go see Leslie? Mm -hmm. Go see Leslie. Say hello, Leslie. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> He's going to start barking at that dog. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about <laughs> it. Uh, so we have pictures in the Ravelry thread of each prize mm -hmm. and then a corresponding letter a b c you know what letters are mm -hmm. so if you win prize c but you really like prize o or whatever you guys can like talk amongst yourselves you winners and if you want to trade prizes just let me know like once we do this and we say who won you tell me, yes, I want that. Then I'll know, okay, I can. That's being shipped out. That's going to get sent on its little way. But if you want to go to that, to someone else's prize photo and comment and say, hey, I won this other thing. Are you interested in trading? Because we hate sending someone something if you don't want it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I just don't know how else to do this. Yeah. So, so you guys have to work it out amongst yourselves, but just yeah. let Michelle know. And I, should we have a deadline when you're going to ship for sure, no matter what you hear back? Cause, um, I don't know. I okay. mean, I think. Cause you don't want to be like hanging on to prizes for two weeks or whatever. Okay. I mean, you're right. No, I don't. But on the other hand, sometimes it takes people a while to watch it. Yeah, true. That's why I'm saying if you hear your name and you see that the prize that you've won is something that you definitely want, you just let me know. Yeah. Just and say, yep. We'll get it dealt with. I want it. Okay. Here's my address. Exactly. Yeah. So send your addresses. So the first one that we're going to talk about mm -hmm. is this lovely bag from you so-and-so mm -hmm. with the whales, so which I love, but so I just cute. have so many bags. Mm -hmm. And then the skein of sparkle holiday yarn. Mm -hmm. And the winner is DG White, Denise. Congratulations. Congratulations. And a knit crate progress or um, notions, notions thingy. Notions pouch or notions container. So, DG White. DG White. 
congratulations. I thought about making, th you know, things to show all the names, but I thought we can just say them. I'm, I'm not going to go through all that. We're mm -hmm. lazy that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, our second no one is this darling bag. Cute. Winner is FHL Fran. Fran, you get the lovely Fran. bag and the skein of yarn from Wild Happy Color. Beautiful. Garden Maiden. It is a really pretty Yeah, color. it matches the bag perfectly. It does. I think that's why I ended up putting that. Yeah, like that, that looks nice together. Or Lori did. Yeah. <laughs> she nice. came and helped me that day. Awesome. Okay, this is a bag from uh, Diary of a Yarn Club. Mm-hmm. And the winner of this one is Siberian Cat, Penny. Penny wins the prize for the best pictures. Mm. Every picture of her mm. socks was just photographed so lovely. Oh. Uh, so you also get this skein of Once Upon a Corgi. Mm. I think this is something like Zombie Kangaroo or something. Mm. Doesn't matter. Yep. Zombie yep. Kangaroo. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at me. It's like I have a memory again. Man. What did we talk about 10 minutes ago? No idea. I have no idea. So, um, and then these little Halloween-y buttons. It's more of a things. fall thing. So, you, you know. Yeah, we know Leslie doesn't like that. But. No, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Put it in your stash for fall. Yeah. But the bag you can use your... Totally. Yes. This uh, lovely bag from Mad Bird, I think. I can't believe Sounds I'm getting familiar. rid of this. but Because I do. I love it. Yep. But, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a couple skeins of this... Uh, Merino Superwash sock yarn. Sock twist yarn, yeah. By Cloudborn Fibers. It's very soft. It is really very soft. soft. Yep. CSW Meds, Connie. Or CWS, right? Did you say CSW? I think I did. CWS. We're gonna Meds. we're gonna let you Connie continue. With <laughs> Congratulations. I can write the stuff and I That's can hand right. it off, but That's I can't right. read it. All right. It's all good. <laughs> Okay, this was a Stuff It prize. Mm -hmm. Winner of this one is Looney Hiker Cat. And what you're getting yeah, here is Misty Alpaca um, Baby, so whatever. It's Looks like hand spun. Beautiful. Misty Alpaca Baby Me Boo. Hand paint dyed to the stitch. Baby Alpaca Merino Bamboo. It's very soft. Yeah, it is. Oh. It's very soft. And this little pouch thingy mm -hmm. with different we've got some stitch markers mm -hmm. and darning needle and just little things Fun little trinkets and then the snowman oh yeah uh, stitch markers stitch markers yes very cute and again all these are in the thread so if you're actually yeah, wanting to see it a little bit better in the thread yep along with your letter corresponding letter yes. right yeah I wonder if that went with that. Oh, maybe. Let's just, we'll just see. Okay, so this is a cute little bag that Lori made. Mm. Lori makes cute bags. And the winner of this one is Kay Penny, Kimberly. And a cute little pouch. Mm -hmm. And a skein of DK Weight Wee Chickadee Woolery. Beautiful. In rose petals. Yeah. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And a cute little, uh, I can't remember what those sacks are called. Right. They're, I mean, they hang from your wrist. They're really yeah. nice. Yeah, you put the little yep. thing through and it. Bento, bento I, I, wanna, I was going to say like something that, like maybe. that. So Super cute. Very cute. Fun. This bag. I don't remember who it's by. I'm sure we could figure it out somewhere. Yeah. Um, and a skein of um, On the Round. Oh, yeah. Beautiful skein. It's really pretty. And the winner of this is W. James Wendy. Beautiful yarn, cute, cute bag. That's a really cute bag. Yeah. Love those chevron arrows. Super cute. Lots of prizes, people. Yeah. Stick with us. Yeah. <laughs> Hang in there. Bags by Awesome Granny. Yes. And the winner. This, oh, go ahead. Quilter Pam. Pam. <coughs> Which honestly, this was not something with that we manipulated. But how perfect mm -hmm. is that? It's like this is all sewing stuff. Mm -hmm. It even says something about a quilter shop. Yeah. Perfect. And someone with quilter in their it's name. Perfect. And the skinny yarn matches perfectly, yep. too. Oh, my gosh. Couldn't be any better than that. We're all about Amazing. the coordination here. That's oh, right. that's a... Sorry. Oh, so hair. 
No, it's actually a, oh, a snag. Um, a snag. Oh, bummer. I have a lot of snags on this shirt. Bummer. I was just hoping they didn't show. They don't show, I don't think. Now that you pointed it out, right. maybe it will. <laughs> Point out all of them. <laughs> this is a studio on the green. Is uh, it studio on the green or studio in the green? Is I don't it know on? what to say. In. Okay, in. in. What did in I the say? Green. I don't know. Did I say on or in? I, I probably said, said on. Studio in the green. In the green. I don't know. I don't know. Christy Lael. She was one that always knit a lot of socks. Yeah. But this is one of the, you know, two sock, mm -hmm. two sides. Perfect for socks. Some stitch markers mm -hmm. and this holiday yarns. It's pretty. Um, so Grays and yellows. Oh, yeah. You would like pretty. that. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> I had done a club with them a yeah. while back. Okay. Very fun. Okay. Uh, this cute. beautiful bag. Yeah. Amber. This is. I think it. Oh, Mana Cory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the winner is Cookier 293 Corleen. Also, this gorgeous skein from mm. Legacy Fiber Arts. They Beautiful. donated that to us mm -hmm. at the beginning of this, mm -hmm. and it was hard to hold on to some of these. Mm. But Beautiful. So fun. Oh, yes, there's more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's more. Oh, okay, cute, this cute darling bag. bag with the cute yes. little... This is the Otterly, Otterly Cute or something. Cute. Utterly adorable. Yes, yes, and it is. She does. She does some really cute oh bags. Oh my goodness, so cute. And a skein of Knit Mona. I Beautiful. love Knit Mona. Yeah, so pretty. The winner of this one is Maureen0722. That's your prize. If you so choose. <laughs> right. If you choose not to swap. It would have been kind of fun to just say, all of you won. Yeah, I know. Fight it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Duke it out. <laughs> But we wouldn't do that to we you. We wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. This one is Pistols and Pearls, Tara. You want a Ziploc. <laughs> yeah, Ziploc bag. This is a chicken... Chicken boots? Yes, thank you. Chicken boots. Cute. I love that bag. It's so cute. One of them that hangs yes, on your wrist. wrist. And it's got a little pocket. It's so cute. And then... Um, Knitters Brewing Company Watermelon mm. Sock Kit. Cute. Oh, that'll be fun. Again, it matches the bag like perfectly. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I don't get things that don't coordinate. That's, that's, true. that's true. We always have our bags to match our yarn. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember when we, when Leslie first started watching podcasts mm -hmm. and was telling me about them. And she said, yeah, and they show bags, <laughs> project bags that match the yarn. And I was like... Where do I find these things? <laughs> so funny. Changed my life. <laughs> okay, this is an awesome. I mean, I love everything, but um, oh, no. this one goes to Cosmo Pink Fairy. Daisy Girl and Company, yes. one of her awesome yeah. bags. We've had this keepers. forever. Yes. But we always are like, oh, it's such a cute bag. No, it was, she donated it, I think, specifically for yes, the middle this. Yes. And so we've been hanging on it's to it. Hard, yeah, I know. It's hard. Because I love the bikes. I oh my gosh. And the spring around the corner, yeah. actually. Yeah. And then the skein of with pointed pretty. sticks. So pretty. Sea glass. Very pretty. Congratulations, Carrie. Cosmo Pink. So cute. There we go. Hey, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, this was a stuff it. Cute. This is a cute little chick chica. Chica bag. Very so cute. Uh, I love that they're waterproof. So yeah. nice. Uh, this is. Uh, yeah, A A S V. A A S V Mom Holly. And a little keychain. Yes. Cute. Some yarn. Beautiful springy colored yarn. And then some knitters keep. Um, these are the little locking. Yeah, Boy, little... I needed a bunch of these. When I. Uh -huh. These are handy when you do have a bunch of drop stitches. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what I did when I was looking at that brioche mess mm -hmm. with stitches everywhere yeah. that were just hanging there. I just grabbed a yep. bunch of these, not just these particular them. ones. If I'd thought about these, I probably would have. <laughs> Dug them out. Uh, dug them out and kept them. And then these are a couple darning needles. Nice. I should check these, too. Yeah, I know. You'll be getting some nice else. darning needles. <laughs> so congratulations, Holly. Do you want them in there? Yeah. Okay. That way I'll just yes. move it around if I need to. Perfect. Okay. 
Those bags are perfect. Like when my girls used to swim all the time and I'd have to go to their swim meets, I would bring my bag out a little, one bigger than that a little bit. And I would yeah. bring that with for my knitting because it kept it dry. It is nice. I could put it down. Yeah. If it got dirty, it can wipe it off. That's true. That is nice because a lot of times mm -hmm. you don't want to set your cute yes. bag down. Yes. Okay. This is a... Oh, this is Island of Misfit Knits it's Prize. Island of Misfit Prize. And Jimmer, isn't it Jimmer's Gal? Yes. Jimmer's Gal Lynn. So it's two yes. skeins of the Knit Picks Felici, so you can yes. make a pair of socks. Yes. A cute little owl notions pouch. Super zips cute. Zips. zips. Some cute Haya Haya. I think they're Haya Haya. Yeah, Haya Haya mm -hmm. stitch markers. And then we're just throwing these in there. Mm -hmm. Um so you can try them out and so tell you can us what try you them think. out what you think tell yes. us what you think of these needles yeah i'm so curious i've heard people are starting to kind of talk about them they've are been they? around for a long time but i'm curious to see if she tries them and she can let us know what she thinks of them yeah i should try them sometime but this is our harry potter prize cute Harry Potter wand. Nice. Um, From Nitty by Nature. Nitty by Nature. Exactly. Yes. And then, so the yarn that's in here is from um, Simply Sock Yarn. Mm. It's their brand. And it's the different house colors. Yes. The different Harry Potter houses. That's awesome. The winner of this is Smoffit, Sarah. And then a cream color. Yes. And on here it does show what they look like. Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but yeah. there's an idea if you wanted to do some Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, you could do a cowl, you could do whatever you, could you do want. Whatever. But, yeah. And then some uh, stitch markers. Cute. Cute, cute. Else. Uh -oh. Sorry. No. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> Those would be fun. Yeah. So fun. Okay. Very cool. Almost done. <laughs> Almost there. Yeah. Okay. Two more. Three more, actually, but. Oh, four more. <laughs> oh, plus the one that. Okay, never mind. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Winner of this one is Jambo Lynn 1, Jamie. Nitpicks Felici, and these are the same color. They look different just because of the way they're wound, but they're Probably the same wound, color. Yeah. So you could um, knit a pair of socks. Yep. And a cute little needle keeper. Yeah, so cute with little sheep on it. Yeah. And was this from Island of Misfits or no? Um, you know? I don't think so. I think it was just a sock. Just sock. Yep, I think it was just one of the socks. Okay. okay. This one. Is MTC07 Mary, and this is for Stuffets. And this is a skein of uh, yarn from Bob Wilson something. Mm -hmm. Bob Wilson 123. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is Slip Stitch Studio. It's a needle keeper, but it also has a zipper pouch. Oh, cute. So, yeah. Nice. You can keep stitch markers or whatever in there. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. Very fun. Are you breaking uh, a sweat yet? <laughs> This is a sock kit. Oh, Sally from Idaho. Sally from design. Idaho. Little buttons, the pattern, mm -hmm. these cute little socks. The Beautiful yarn. yarn. And then a row counter bracelet. Beautiful. Lori donated this to us. Very pretty. So these are fun. Yes. You know, you slipped a little thing over. Very pretty. Yay. The socks are beautiful. That pattern's really it's pretty. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really cute. pretty. Very fun. So if you want to knit them for me, you know, that's right. She's always so generous I offering know. to knit things for people. She's so generous. Yeah, that's so it. That's why we're sending her this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like a size nine <laughs> shoe, but I usually knit my socks too. It's funny. Yeah. I'll give you a paper cut there. Yeah, don't be drawing my blood. Yeah, that's right. I don't want my blood on my socks. No, exactly. <laughs> well, it might be speckled, you know. Right, that's true. And actually, I mean, color-wise, it would go. It would go. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Where did the other ones go? Okay, that was done. Okay, so we did that and that. Mm -hmm. And that. What about the one that you lost? Right, I think that must be the only one that we have left, because we just did okay. that and that. Okay. Okay. 
So, the, yeah, then that was it. The Wonder Woman one okay. goes to this person. Caramel Courtney, I think. Okay, here it is again. Sorry. So you get the cute Wonder Woman bag. Mm -hmm. The cute Wonder Woman notions bag. Mm -hmm. uh, the project saver. A little. That matches yep. the interior of the bag. Mm -hmm. And the skein of yarn. Premier, I don't know. It's mm. a green speckled, uh, a green sparkle. Mm -hmm. And then this pattern that I bought a while back, mm -hmm. I paid eight dollars for this pattern. Wow. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> fingerless gloves. That's funny. If you're not interested in the pattern, let me know. <laughs> the things you isn't it funny? Like especially when you first start knitting, because I got oh, that I on a yarn crawl one year. That's so funny. And I mean. You just like what was I thinking? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a pretty pattern, oh, but yeah. I wouldn't pay eight dollars for a fingerless mitts yeah. pattern. Now that would just no, not even that's happen. That's funny. And then we have one last prize that we're going to send uh, an Etsy gift card. Mm -hmm. This is Nemrak eight 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 Carmen for her stuff. It. She's the one that did all those amazing. Uh, well, I have one yeah. hanging back. The balls so somewhere. It's like behind me somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. You guys can't see that. Oh, it's just out of your view. But it's the. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. She did the gnome one. Yeah. For me and. If she... I grab it, like all the lights are yes. coming down and everything. But it's got she the killer whale. whales. Yeah. And, um, but she's in like New Zealand or mm -hmm. something, and yeah. somewhere far away. And so by the time we were to send her one of these prizes, we would pay for shipping. Shipping would cost more than the prize. Yes. I don't know how that goes. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to send you an Etsy gift card. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. All yes. your winners. Mm -hmm. Sorry oh to you losers. Yeah. It happens, though. You I know. know. I wish we could have given prizes to everybody. I know. But it would have been impossible. Your prize is just time with us. <laughs> <laughs> your reward, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. We'll be signing up for the next bit of long. That's for damn sure. <laughs> That's what I get. That's right. Oh, Forget boy. That. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, oh I almost forgot, though. Uh oh I couldn't give away all these prizes and not have a prize for you. Why? Why? I'm always scared when she gives me prizes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so cute. <laughs> I could not not get you that. funny. Bundle, Bundle of Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> my husband's know. name is Bob. That's cute. Now I can bundle up Bob. You have to bundle up Bob. I have to bundle up Bob. <laughs> and That's if so it would cute. make you happy, thank you. I'd be willing to call her Leslie. Oh, that would be sweet. so we could like that put them sweet. up. Oh my gosh! And then uh, she sent us those. Oh, so. so nice. Bundle up and knit all the things. Little enamel pins. Yes. From Andy. Oh, that's so sweet. Very nice. That was so <laughs> nice. And thank she sent you. me some too. They're just fun. Over here, so. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yeah. Where's the I squeal? Get, I didn't get a bundle up ready, so I'm excited. Now I can bundle up Bob. That'll be so fun. And they can play together. <laughs> they can. And if you want to knit him... Bob and Leslie can play together. You could, get, you could do him in the pajamas, too. That's true. And um, My husband doesn't sleep in pajamas. Neither though. do you. That's true. So... <laughs> I'm speaking because I know these things about her. When you're friends at a certain level, you know, you know. what your friend sleeps yes, in. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, or not. I know. Mm -hmm. um, now that we're it's so really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And you know what? I mean, I think we're done sooner than we normally are wow. with a podcast. We kept saying it was going to take forever. I know. And so we probably rushed through everything we else. probably did. And we're doing this during the day. Yes. So maybe we're just faster. Maybe. We talk faster. And I have coffee. Yeah, and I, I don't have water. wine. So maybe the wine, <laughs> the wine in the evening slows us way down. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Well, thank yeah. you for the bundle up, Bobby. He's so You're cute. You're welcome. He's so cute. Yeah. Well, I have. It's the first time I've seen him in person. And I have to, I really didn't look at him closely. You didn't? Do you no. want to look at him? I, I feel like I should look wanna, at Bobby, Bobby a little, a little bit, bit more. Right. A little bit closer yes. now. He has a little, he has, he has boxer briefs on. Oh, he does. So, you know, he does have something he's on. He's a little whitey. He is a whitey. Yeah. 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 He's, he's, maybe yeah. she needs to get on that and make us some. Get uh, on. Oh, I thought you meant, um, what? I thought you meant. She needs to get on that. I thought you were oh, like really going no, for it. Like, no, she needs to get on that. Is what I thought you were saying. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, there's wow. there's Bobby. <laughs> 
He's really cute. He's quite handsome. He has. Well, I mean, he looks like a little boy. Oh, maybe he could be Evie. Bundle up Everett. No, it's, it's, no, it's bundle, bundle up Bobby. Bobby. That's Sorry, true. that's, that's true. the rule. He's so cute. <laughs> His name's Bobby. So fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be cute. He has nice lips. They're very wow. Tom Hardy-ish. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of GQ. I might have to. I don't know. He's pretty stylish looking. His hair, even. <laughs> He's got a nice little haircut. He has a lot on. of hair. Yeah, yeah, he does more than your husband. He does <laughs> more than my husband. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Maybe more than me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. But very cute. Very cute. Thank you. Well, That's you're really welcome. Sweet. You're welcome. That's always really thinking sweet. of you. Thanks. You are always <laughs> thinking of me. Uh, <laughs> all righty, tiny. Always good things. I'm sure you're thinking of no, me. No, I can't think of a time when I've ever thought anything bad about you. Okay. <laughs> Define bad. <laughs> you know? That's true. It's all relative. It's true. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think that's mm -hmm. all I have to talk about. I know. It's funny when I was thinking about podcasting today because we kind of went back and forth. Part of us was like, well, maybe we'll do it later this week. Maybe we'll do it today because the sun's out. The sun is we, out. You know, and that's like monumental. It's so rare here. for us that we're like, oh, maybe we should be out in the but sun. But we've been like, we've had very mild weather so far this year. Yeah, I keep waiting for snow to come. I mean, we can go to the mountains and see snow. You yeah. Know, so it's not like it's too far away from us to get to. We could, but to get it here, I'm yeah. like, I keep waiting. I'm like, well, it's January. Usually we get snow. We, yeah. Not a lot. No, but if we're going to get it, usually yeah. it's January. So I keep waiting and hoping. I we know that much of the country snow. is wishing they didn't have the snow I that know. They have. I keep telling all of them to send it our way. <laughs> Please send it here. I wish they could. I would love to They wish snow. they could. They do. We do. We would love to see some snow. Yeah. But I mean, even temperatures, we haven't, and rain, we haven't had a ton of rain. Mm -hmm. We haven't had cold temp. I mean, it's just yeah. been a very benign. Yeah. It makes me wonder what's coming. Yeah, I know. Like, is the yeah. big storm coming? I almost think it is. Cause it seems like when back East has really bad weather, we have great weather and then vice versa. When we have really bad snow or, you know, if you want to call that bad, I wouldn't call it bad, but then they have milder temperatures, yeah. you know, it just seems like it's opposite. Like, so I wonder though, is this whole season yeah. going to be mild? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Or are we but eventually... we did have some cold though, when it was like 30 or 30. Yeah, but that's still that's not, still not, really it's not cold, like negative you know? temperatures. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. And I'm glad, true. I mean, our, at least we haven't had to pay to heat and yeah. stuff. I'm not really complaining. I'm just right. saying it's just been very yeah. mild. Yeah. Yeah, um, haven't had as many fires in the wood stove, which makes me sad, but haven't needed them. So yeah. it hasn't been cold enough. To no, it really hasn't. So. Yeah. No, we've thoroughly discussed our weather. Yes, yes. <laughs> we feel like we can let you go right. now knowing where our we weather. are. <laughs> Temperamentally, or That's temper, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, once she shows her video of her riding on her thing, you'll see the weather because it was beautiful yesterday. It was. And you know what? I think mm -hmm. we should like wrap this up yeah. and go out so you can take it for a oh spin. Oh boy. I'm scared. And I'll get video of that. No, that's okay. Absolutely. Right. I think this has to happen. <laughs> we have a mission now. Oh my gosh. So we'll we'll uh we'll see you later cuz yeah. we're going to go get oh video boy. of Leslie on the elliptical. That'll be fun. <laughs> Your your dominant foot, yeah. But I'd bring it up just a tad. Yep. yep. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I can tell already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're good. Oh. <laughs> She's doing it. She makes it look easy. <laughs> it is. It's a totally weird, different feeling. I know. Yeah, it's that pedal. It's like getting your foot. That's Definitely don't wear slip-ons. Oh